to your gaming PC case support bottom fines or not is definitely a subject to debate about. For some reason there is a very little content around this topic here on YouTube so I have decided to make one. For this test I'll be using Lianli Lancool 3 PC case which supports up to 3 120mm bottom fans and for the fans I'll be using recently released white version of Silent Wings Pro 4s. Thank you Be Quiet for making this video possible, however I wasn't asked to say anything good or bad about these fans so all opinions and thoughts are my own. When it comes to these fans they are one of the best fans available at the moment, yes they are very expensive, they also happen to have this physical switch where you can limit the maximum RPM from 1500 up to 3K. For this purpose I'll be using only the limit up to 1500 because I don't find it usable to use uh, PC case fans up to 3K RPM. The graphics card is Zotac RTX 1419 which is using a D-Shard mod and the D-Shard mod happened to use exactly the same fans as on this video, the only difference being them being in a black color. For more details about this D-Shard mod you can find the whole video on this channel. The test itself will be run in three phases where the first phase is me covering these fan bottom fan spots with the cardboard to prevent air moving freely towards the graphics card. The second test will be running by removing the cardboard but not installing the fans so there will be more air around the graphics card and the third test will be run obviously with having these three fans installed at the bottom of the case where we can see can they make any difference or not. I'll be using the same fan curve as my GPU so the fans should be synchronized in terms of them moving air from the bottom of the case towards the graphics card. For the games I have selected Cyberpunk 2077, it being the one of the heaviest PC games at the moment, especially having the LSS and such technologies turned off. I'll run the same test with another game that being Alan Wake 2 which is also a very heavy game on a GPU and I have noticed that Alan Wake 2 generates a lot of heat on GPU and also in a PC case so the game should be a good example to demonstrate the difference if there is any. To be completely honest with you I have no idea what kind of results we'll get out of this test because I can only assume the difference can be a couple of degrees but instead of guessing let's find out. Ok, after spending a couple of weeks playing these two games we can see that in Cyberpunk 2077 the difference is definitely there, we are talking about 8 degrees of difference between the cardboard installation and having these three fans running at the maximum speed and in Alan Wake 2 the difference is even smaller. We can of course as well argue whether these differences can be included in the margin or error or not. Please remember that my GPU is having this D-Shard mod which can help on some degree in terms of temperature performances. And in terms of CPU temperatures adding these three fans at the bottom of my case basically didn't make any difference. It's also important to notice that I'm having four 140mm case fans moving the air in my case. For all of you interested in the sound pressure levels I did the measurements in terms of additional noise and obviously adding more fans to your case will definitely generate more noise as well no matter which RPM you are basically running them at. And I also have recorded a couple of sound samples in case you are interested to hear basically how these fans sound in this particular case.
So as a conclusion, I would say adding these bottom fans in your case can bring you a little bit of benefit in terms of temperature performance, but please do not expect anything dramatic unless your PC case is not having any kind of airflow in it in the first place. So we should also not forget that uh, GPU's cooler is also playing a role in this. So if you happen to have these, one of these modern GPUs, I'm sure pretty much any of them is having, if I can put it that way, good enough cooler without actually a need to install a separate bottom fans in your case. Now, obviously, if you happen to have a smaller case where air is not moving as effectively as in these bigger ones, then adding these bottom fans, even one of them can definitely help you kind of push the cooler air towards your GPU. Either way, I will leave you to make your conclusions on your own. Hopefully you find this video to be useful regardless of its results. And just to let you know, in case you find this content to be interesting enough, in the near future I will be releasing more content in English, so hopefully you can stick around. My name is Leo, bye bye.